Hey there, Itsy Bitsy family. I've curated a list of my top 10 favorite websites that I use with my Cricut. And best of all, they're free. All website links have been provided in the description below. If you don't have a Cricut Access subscription, fonts can be expensive. That's why I use DaFont. There are over 64,000 fonts available, which you can download and use in Cricut Design Space. You can select from personal use fonts or commercial license fonts, which can be used for selling items. Create unique word designs using this handy free tool. You simply enter the words you want to include on your design, select a background shape, and it will create beautiful word art, which can be uploaded into Cricut Design Space. The font picking tool in Cricut Design Space does not make it easy to locate the best font for your project. Not to mention picking a font you like only to find out that it's not free. Here's where WordMark comes in. Once you install the browser extension, it allows you to see both system fonts and fonts you have installed on your computer. And it will show you exactly what this phrase looks like in a variety of fonts. You can also compare fonts to make a shortlist. Although Cricut provides a remove background feature in Design Space, it's only free to Cricut Access members and it really doesn't do a good job of removing the entire background. This is why I use remove.bg, which is completely free, no sign up required. Upload your chosen image with perfect results every time. You can also erase or restore parts of your image and even add a background of your own, which is perfect for product photography. Have you ever wanted to make your own mandala design? Now you can with my oats. This is a mandala drawing tool that's completely free to use. When drawing shapes inside each section, it will mirror across the other sections. You can increase the thickness of your pen, the number of sections for more intricate designs, and also add shapes. Upload your mandala into Design Space and cut it with your Cricut. And I don't know about you guys, but I find reading these designs so relaxing. I really love the paper cut files that Joa produces on her Special Heart Studio website. Once you sign up to her newsletter, which is completely free, you'll receive an email code that allows you to unlock the freebie vault with hundreds of free paper craft SVG cut files. You simply download the SVG file, upload it into Design Space and cut it out. The files produce absolutely stunning results, like these letter shadow boxes. Pixabay is a free image site that houses over 2.5 million high quality stock images and SVG files. Simply search for any keyword and then you can look for either JPEG, PNG or vector graphics, which are layered SVG files to upload into Cricut Design Space. All of the images on here are free for commercial use unless otherwise specified. Design Bundles produces lots of excellent quality SVG files that can be uploaded straight into Cricut Design Space with minimal effort. Best of all, they have hundreds of free SVG files available in the free section on their website. These include high quality images, graphics, silhouettes, backgrounds, and patterns. The Cute Cutter website allows you to make your own outlined SVG files from an image. The thing I love most about this site is that unlike many other SVG converters, this website allows you to adjust the image and reduce the number of speckles, making it much easier to get a smooth outline of your image. There are so many editing options, including being able to draw or erase extra areas too. 
I achieve perfect results with the Cute Cutter website every time. My number one favourite website is png2svg.com that creates coloured layers from a single image. When you upload your image file, you can specify how many layers you want to create. You can even select the colours you want to use. Click the video above to learn how I use this tool to create a layered SVG file. So that's the list of my top 10 websites. I hope you love using them just as much as I do. See you next time.